Hello students, welcome to returningcluster.com. So in this course, we are going to talk about trigonometry. So this course, it is basically for 10th standard SSC, Maharashtra State Board students. Now, before start, let us revise, let us recall some of the important formulas we can say or concepts related to trigonometry okay so let us see the first question the triangle abc is given to you okay angle c it is theta and angle b it is of 90 degree so basically it is a right angle triangle so trigonometry it is applied to what right angle triangles okay now in previous standard that is the in ninth standard we have learned about three trigonometric ratios that is sine second cosine and third tan so let us revise how we can define these three trigonometric functions so first is sine theta. So sine, it is always opposite side to that of hypotenuse side. Okay. So in triangle ABC, what is the opposite side of theta? AB. And what is the hypotenuse? AC. Okay. So if I want to write in triangle ABC, if angle B is 90 degree, so AC will be hypotenuse side. With respect to theta, AB will be opposite side and with respect to theta, BC will be adjacent side. Okay, so these are the basic. Now, how we define the cosine function? It is defined as adjacent side to that of hypotenuse side. So what is the adjacent side? BC. And what is the hypotenuse side? It is AC. Now third is tan function. It is defined as opposite side to that of adjacent side. So with respect to theta, what is the opposite side? AB divided by what is the adjacent side? BC. Okay, so hope you have remembered this basic definition. Now, let us see the next question. Complete the relation in ratios given below. So, sin theta upon cos theta. What is sin theta upon cos theta? It is nothing but tan theta. Now, sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Okay, then cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta. So let's say I want to prove this. For example, for example, let's say theta is equal to 30 degree. Now, what is sine 30 degree? If you can recall, sine 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. Now, what is cos of 90 minus theta, which is nothing but cos of 90 minus theta is what? 30 which is equal to cos of 60 degree what is cos of 60 degree 1 by 2 so we can write sin 30 degree is equal to cos 90 minus 30 degree or what we can write sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta okay so similarly, you can prove the third relation. You can again consider theta let's say as 45 or 60 and you can prove it. Now, what is tan theta into tan 90 minus theta? Okay. Now, tan 90 minus theta, I hope this explanation is clear. Now, see here tan 90 minus theta. So tan 90 minus theta is nothing but cot of theta. Okay. 
Now, tan theta into cot of theta, it is equal to 1. Okay, so in the coming slide, we are going to learn three more trigonometric ratio that is cosec theta, sec theta and cot theta. So at that time, this thing will be more clear to you. So I hope both the questions are clear. Now, complete the equation. So, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, this is called as a trigonometric identity. So, in the next slide, we are going to learn, we are going to see how we can prove different trigonometric identities. So, there are three trigonometric identities. And one of them is this sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, you have to remember this. Okay. Now, write the values of following trigonometric ratios. So, sin 30 degree. What is sin 30? It is 1 by 2. Now, cos 30 degree, it is nothing but root 3 by 2. Okay. Now, sin 60. What is sin 60? It is root 3 by 2. Cos 45 degree, it is 1 upon root 2. Now, how you can calculate tan 30? See here, tan 30 degree is nothing but sin 30 degree upon cos of 30 degree. Okay, because tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta. What is sin 30 degree? 1 upon 2. Now, what is cos 30 degree? Just now we have written root 3 by 2. So 2 and 2 you can cancel out. So this is equal to 1 upon root 3. So what is tan 30 degree? 1 upon root 3. Okay. And last tan 45. So similar to this, tan 45 degree, it is equal to sin 45 degree divided by cos of 45 degree. So what is sin 45 degree 1 upon root 2. What is cos 45 degree? 1 upon root 2. So, this will be equal to 1. Okay. So, these are some basic things related to trigonometric ratios. Now, let us start with the syllabus of 10th standard. Now, how we are going to define cosec, sec and cot ratios. Okay. Now, for that, let me consider one right angle triangle. So, this is a right angle triangle A, B and C and this is angle theta. So, with related to theta, this will be opposite side, this will be adjacent side and AC will be hypotenuse of right angle triangle. Okay. Now, till now, we have talked about sin theta. What will be sin theta from the figure? It will be AB upon AC. Then, what will be cos of theta? It will be BC upon AC. And what will be tan of theta? Opposite side upon adjacent side. Okay. Now, I am defining three more trigonometric function. The first one is cosec theta. So, cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta. Okay. So, basically, it will be hypotenuse side to that of opposite side. So, what will be cosec theta? You have to take the reciprocal of sin theta. So, it will be AC upon A. Okay. Then, what will be sec theta? sec theta is nothing but 1 upon cos of theta. So, sec theta will be hypotenuse side upon adjacent side. So, if cos theta is BC upon AC, what will be sec theta? You have to take the reciprocal of cos. It will be AC upon BC. And the third one is cot of theta. It is nothing but reciprocal of tan theta. 
which will be equal to PC upon A. Right now, with this, I can write first formula as sine theta into cosec theta will be equal to what? It will be equal to one. Right. See, cosec theta I can substitute as one upon sine theta, and this is nothing but your sine theta. So sine theta and sine theta it will get cancelled out. So this will be equal to one. Okay. As simple as that. Now the second formula we can write as cos of theta into sec of theta. It is equal to one. And the third formula will be tan theta into cot of theta. It is equal to one. Okay. So these are three more trigonometric ratios. We have defined here. Right, so hope you can pause the video and you can note down all these six trigonometric ratios. So basically, we are having how many total six trigonometric ratios. Now, what are trigonometric identities? So we have three trigonometric identities which we are going to define now. Okay, so let me again draw a simple right angle triangle. So this is a right angle triangle A, B, C. This angle is theta and this is 90 degree. Okay. Now, as this is a right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem to this. Now, using Pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle ABC. How we can define what is the Pythagoras theorem? It is nothing but AB square plus BC square which is equal to what? I put in your square, which is equal to AC square. Okay. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to divide this complete equation with AC square. So, on dividing with AC square. So, what I am going to get? I am going to get AB square upon AC square plus BC square upon AC square, which is equal to AC square upon AC square. Okay. Now, from this triangle, can you tell me what will be sine theta? It is nothing but AB upon AC. What will be cos of theta? Adjacent side upon hypotenuse. And what will be tan of theta opposite side upon adjacent side. So if I have to put here AB upon AC, what is AB upon AC? Sin theta. So it will be sin square theta plus what is BC upon AC? Check here BC upon AC is what? Cos of theta, which is equal to what? AC square, AC square it is going to get cancelled out. This is equal to 1. So this is the first trigonometric identity which you have to remember. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay. So I am putting a star mark here. This is a very important trigonometric identity. Okay. Now, let us define two more trigonometric identities C here now. Now I am what what I am having? I am having sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now I am going to divide 
each term of this equation with sin square theta. So what I'm going to get? See here, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Divide each term with sin square theta. As I'm dividing on both sides, I can do this. So sin square theta, sin square theta, it will be equal to one plus what is cos upon sine? See, cos theta upon sine of theta, it is nothing but cot theta. Okay, just now we have seen. So, cot square theta, which is equal to what is 1 upon sine? Cos square theta. So, this is the next trigonometric identity which you have to remember. Okay, so again I am putting your star mark. These are very important. Okay, now similar to this, now let me divide each term with cos square theta. Okay, so what is the basic trigonometric identity I am having? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So divide each term with cos square theta. Cos square theta. Yes, we can divide because we are dividing on both side now what is sine upon cos yes sine theta upon cos of theta it is nothing but tan theta so this will be equal to tan square theta plus cos square theta cos square theta it is going to get cancelled out it will be equal to one and what is one upon cos square theta six square theta so i am Again, writing this 1 upon tan square theta, which is equal to 6 square theta. So, these are three very important trigonometric identity which you have to remember by heart. Okay, and this is how you can prove this. So, what is the first trigonometric identity? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Second, 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta and third 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sex square theta okay and this is the simple proof of it simply we have used pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle okay right now let us solve some very good examples on this so first example is Read the example. If sin theta is equal to 20 upon 29, then find cos of theta. Let us solve these examples step by step. What is given? Sin theta is equal to 20 upon 29. What they have asked? Cos theta is equal to now we know first trigonometric identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Therefore, sin square theta. So what is sin theta? 20 upon 29 bracket square plus cos square theta which is equal to 1. Therefore, what will be cos square theta? It will be equal to 1 minus 20 upon 29 bracket square which is equal to 1 minus what is square of 20 Okay, so 1 minus, what is square of 20? 400 divided by, what is square of 29? Okay, if you know, it's well and good. If you do not know, please do the calculation 29 into 29. So if you do that calculation, you will get it as 821. So let us do the cross multiplication now. So 1 into 821. 821 minus 400 divided by 821. So this will be equal to 4 
21 divided by 821. This is equal to what? Cos square theta. Therefore, now, if you take square root on both sides, what you are going to get? So, on taking square root, so what will be square root of cos square theta? It will be cos theta, which will be equal to square root of 421 divided by 821. Okay, so what is the square root of 421? It is 20 divided by 29. Okay, so what will be the value of cos theta? 21 divided by 20. Now note that if you are taking square root, this can be plus minus 21 upon 29. So both the answers will be there. Plus 21 by 29 or minus 21 by 29. But as we are considering only positive values, it is enough to write positive values only. So this will be your answer. Okay, so hope this question is clear. Let us see the second question. If sec theta is equal to 25 by 7, find the value of tan theta. So it is same as that the previous one. Simply we have to use a trigonometric identity. Sec theta is given as 25 by 7. They have asked you about tan theta. So what is the trigonometric identity? We know that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. So what will be tan square theta? Tan square theta will be equal to sec square theta minus 1. So sec square theta. So it will be 25 by 7 bracket square minus 1. So this will be 625. What is the square of 25? 625. What is the square of 7? 49 minus 1. This will be equal to, if you do the cross multiplication, 625 minus 49 divided by 49. So what is 625 minus 49? Yes, you can do the calculation 625 minus 49. So 625 minus 49, it is nothing but 576 divided by 49. So what you are going to get? Therefore, tan, so this is what? This is tan square theta, right? So if you are taking square root, what will be tan theta? It will be square root of 576 upon 49. So therefore, tan theta, it is equal to, what is the square root of 576? 24. What is the square root of 49? It is 7. This is your answer. Okay, so very basic and simple question, but can be asked in the exam. So that's why I have told you to remember three basic trigonometric identities. Now, let us see the next question. Now, if 5 sin theta minus 12 cos theta is equal to 0, find the value of sec theta and cosec theta. So very simple. See here. What is given to you? 5 sin theta minus 12 cos of theta is equal to 0. So what you can write? 5 sin theta will be equal to 12 cos of theta. Therefore, sin theta, I am taking this cos theta here, which will be equal to 12 upon 5. Yes, is it correct? See what I have done? I have taken cos theta on this side and I have taken 5 on this side. Hope you have understood. Now, what will be sin theta upon cos theta? Tan theta, which is equal to 12 upon 5. Is it clear? Now, what we have to find out? We have to find out sec theta and cosec theta. See, 
you can use trigonometric identity like we have seen in example number 1 and in example number 2 or what you can do you can use right angle triangle concept here see how we can use this okay let's say i am considering a right angle triangle abc a b c this is 90 degree this is theta now if i have to write tan theta for this figure if i have to write tan of theta what is opposite side ab divided by adjacent side bc but what is tan theta it is nothing but 12 divided by 5 so can i say ab is equal to 12 and bc is equal to 5 so ab is equal to 12 unit bc is equal to 5 Okay, now if I have to apply here a Pythagoras theorem, so what is Pythagoras theorem? A B square plus B C square, which is equal to A C square. So A B square twelve square plus B C square five square, which is equal to A C square. So one forty four plus twenty five, which is equal to A C square. One sixty nine is equal to AC square. That means AC is equal to square root of one sixty nine, which is equal to thirty. So we have found the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is thirty. Okay. Now what we have to find out sec theta first. What we have to find out sec theta first. Sec theta is equal to what? See here. What is sec theta? How we define the sec theta? Hypotenuse side that is AC upon adjacent side that is BC. What is AC? Thirteen. What is BC? Okay. Next, what is cosec theta? Second, they have asked you about cosec theta. How we define cosec theta? Basic definition: hypotenuse AC upon opposite side AB. Which is equal to thirteen upon. 12. So these are your answers. So even you can use trigonometric identity. See here, if you want to find or if you want to solve this using trigonometric identities, so tan theta we know. So from this first you have to calculate this sec theta. We know one plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. You can simply find sec theta. Okay, from this sec theta. You can find cos theta easily, and from cos theta you have to find sine theta. So if you know the sine theta, cosec theta can be easily calculated as cosec theta is nothing but one upon sine theta. Or this is also one very good approach to solve such type of example using Pythagoras theorem. Okay, I hope this example is clear to you. Now. Let us see the next example. Okay, so this is one minus sec theta upon one plus cos theta. Now cos theta is given to you as root three by two, and they have asked you to find one minus sec theta upon one plus cos theta. Okay, now see what you can do. Let us use simple trigonometric. Approach of right angle triangle. So I am drawing here one right angle triangle again. So you can name this as ABC. This will be angle theta, and this is let's say this is a right angle at B. Now, cos theta. If I have to write for this right angle triangle, what will be cos theta? BC upon AC. BC upon AC. But what is cos theta given to you? This is nothing but root three by two. So if I am going to compare these two ratio, BC it is equal to root three and AC it is equal to two. Okay. So if you know the AB, you can simply get other trigonometric ratios. Now, if I am using Pythagoras theorem here, so it will be AB square 
plus bc square which is equal to ac square so i am interested in finding ab square which is nothing but ac square minus bc square so ac 2 what is the 2 square minus root 3 square 2 square 4 minus what is root 3 square 3 which is equal to 1 so ab square is equal to 1 so what will be value of ab it is equal to 1 so we have found out ab is equal to ab is equal to 1 okay i hope up to this is clear to you now next part is very simple what we have to find out we have to find out 1 minus sec theta upon 1 plus cosec theta so let us find for sec theta sec theta it is equal to hypotenuse upon adjacent 2 upon root 3 next cosec theta hypotenuse upon opposite side 2 upon 1. Now the example is very easy. What we have to find out? We are interested in finding 1 minus sec theta upon 1 plus cosec theta, which is equal to 1 minus what is sec theta? 2 upon root 3 divided by 1 plus what is cosec theta? 2. So do the cross multiplication, it will be root 3 minus 2 upon root 3 divided by what is 1 plus 2? 3. So your answer will be root 3 minus 2 upon 3 root 3. This is your answer. Okay, very easy. Simple, you have to use the Pythagoras theorem, properties of right angle triangle and remember the definitions of trigonometric ratio whether it is opposite upon hypotenuse or hypotenuse upon opposite okay that is a simple approach to solve the given example now let us see the next okay now we are, here we have to prove something so what is the example show that sec x plus tan x is equal to square root of 1 plus sin x upon 1 minus sin x. So basically, here we have to prove LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, now what I am going to do, I am taking RHS first. What is the RHS? 1 plus sin x upon 1 minus sin x. Now, what I am going to do. multiply and divide multiply and divide with 1 plus sin x upon 1 plus sin x okay see why i am doing this here it is 1 minus sin x so that's why you have to multiply and divide with conjugate of this. So 1 minus sin x, what will be conjugate of this? 1 plus sin x, right? So multiply and divide with 1 plus sin x. In case in the denominator, if it is 1 plus sin x, so you are going to multiply and divide with 1 minus sin x and 1 minus sin x. Okay, please remember this thing. This is a trick. Now, under the square root, so 1 plus sin x into 1 plus sin x, so it will be 1 plus sin x bracket square upon, what is this a minus b upon a minus b into a plus b, what is a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square, okay, what we have used? See here a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square. Okay, so 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x. This is nothing but a square 1 square minus b square sin square x. That is what I have written. This is equal to now 
1 plus sin x bracket square divided by what is 1 square minus sin square x we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so instead of theta let me write x therefore what will be cos square x 1 minus sin square x that is what here 1 minus sin square x which is nothing but cos square x okay now if uh, if i have to you can remove the square root so it is if you are removing the square root it will be 1 plus sin x upon what is the square root of cos square x cos of x split here it will be 1 upon cos x plus sin x upon cos x what is 1 upon cos x sec x what is sin x upon cos x tan x which is nothing but lhs check the lhs sec x plus tan x okay so just just in three to four steps you can have your answer so even you can take the lhs and you can try to get the rhs okay but this method is quite simple if you are taking the rhs simply in three to four steps you are getting your answer but this is important step which you have to remember so i hope this example is clear now the last example for this lecture we are going to see eliminate theta from given equation so these two equations are given to you this is number one this is number two equation we have to eliminate theta using trigonometric identities okay see what i'm going to do let us add these two equation so equation one plus equation two what you are going to get lhs you can add it will be x plus y which is equal to let us add this so if you are going to add this so a cot theta plus a cot theta it will be 2 a cot of theta and minus b cosec theta plus b cosec theta it is it will get cancelled out so what you are going to get x plus y is equal to 2 a cot theta okay simply you have to add these two equations now so 1 plus 2 i am going to get this so what will be cot of theta from this it is equal to x plus y upon 2a okay now next what i am going to do let us do 2 minus 1 that means 2 that is y minus x which is equal to now if we are getting confused we are going to do the subtraction separately here what is y a cot theta plus b cosec theta and what is x a cot of theta minus b cosec theta so this will become plus this will become minus this is going to get cancelled out it will be 2b cosec theta so y minus x will be 2b into cosec theta therefore what will be cosec theta y minus x upon 2b okay now we know that 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta what we have to do we have to eliminate theta okay so 1 plus what is cot theta we have found out x plus y upon 2a bracket square which is equal to what is cosec theta y minus x upon 2b bracket square okay so this is how you can eliminate now if you observe this equation is there any theta no there is no theta in this so that is what ask you have to eliminate the theta so this will be your final answer okay so this is how we have to solve 
some examples based on basis of trigonometric ratio. Okay, simply you have to remember what are the definitions of trigonometric ratio, what are trigonometric identities, how we can apply the Pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle. These three to four, three to four points are enough to solve the exercise number 6.1. So in the next video, we are going to solve the exercise number 6.1. So thank you for watching this video.